Jim Thorpe Victorian Home and Garden Tour. Good news, we have two pairs of passes to give away. Just go to our Facebook page, like the correct photo in our September album, and let us know which Victorian home you can't wait to tour. And it's all about the nose. <laughs> Not our nose, your dog's nose. Find out more next on Talk of the Town. If you're looking to spend more time with your four-legged friend, do we have an idea for you? There's a club that allows your buddy to use its best instincts. We had never heard of it before. It's called Pocono Nosework. They learn a target odor, um, and then we place that target odor in various environments, and they learn to go and find it. So it is a game of hide and seek for the dogs. We're trying to create a working dog, a working dog mentality. It's not doggy daycare when you're coming to do nose work. You may be saying that sounds like a drug sniffing dog. Pocono nose work dogs are trained with many of the same techniques, but they track legal substances. We are not asking our dogs to find marijuana or cocaine, and they are not a search and rescue dog. They're not going to go out in the woods and find some stranded child out in the woods. So what, what kind of scents are they looking for? So uh, the first scent that they learn is birch, which is most people think of as like a wintergreen kind of smell. There's anise, which everybody knows is kind of like a licorice smell, and clove, which to me is Christmas. Ham. <laughs> Christmas ham. That's, you know, so there's that kind of that smell as well. So those are the three competition odors. We met Carol and her nose work students at Camp Papillion near Snydersville. They recently bought this. It was formerly known as Camp Brainerd, and they want to turn this place into an animal shelter. So they were really gracious to let us play here today, which we really want to thank them for. And we'd like to um, ask people to go to their website. They are trying to raise funds so they can build their first animal shelter. It's very exciting. Nose work training starts with sniffing out treats. So what we want to see out of these dogs is that they're ignoring their handler and they're just looking and looking and looking and our promise to these dogs that if you look, you're going to find something. And they're find she's finding treats, And right? she's just finding food right now. We also are teaching them high and low searches. So you see Wait, there's she, two boxes st stacked up high. <laughs> Did she think something was in there? Something was going to get her. I wasn't sure what was in there. <laughs> And it does teach them to be, so as you look at it, she's very she's determined. Mm -hmm. So she's concerned, but determined. Right. And what we want her, and so it's just a cardboard box, so we're just wanting her to know that it's okay. Oh, and there she stumbled upon the one. Wait a minute, it. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't really lead her to the box, right. but he's providing emotion, keeping her in the search area and saying, if you stay in here, you're going to find gonna one find. more. Any dog can do it. Any dog's nose is better than the human nose. So that's why this is created, that any dog can play this game. Even dogs who don't get along well with other dogs, they work one at a time. In this exercise, they find which box has the scent of birch. Ava, search. Well, for me, because she is reactive, it's very limited on what sports she can do. I wanted to do something with her because she, she is energetic and she loves doing stuff. And I wanted a, a, a sport or an activity for myself where I didn't leave her at home and come home to an energetic dog that's bored. So I thought, well, what can we do together? Hello. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So this is an exterior hide placement. So the dogs are having to learn to search outside, which has a lot of distractions. Work. Yes. <laughs> he, he cannot play with other dogs. I rescued him. He's almost nine, so we got him when he was a puppy. He gets along with my other dog, but he's just could never interact. And this is something that he can do. And he has a little job. And uh, he's, he's good at it. <laughs> Attaboy, good boy. <laughs> yeah. Were you watching the other guy? I know. He looked like he knew exactly. He was like, oh, Cora told me on the way out, hey, check out the log. <laughs> Echo likes to run. They upgrade from cardboard boxes to luggage ultimately. A luggage, as you can imagine, is different fabrics, which makes it more difficult to smell. Oh my gosh, I love it. I've had, I've had four German Shepherds, this is my fifth, and I never knew that there was something like this I could do with my dog. I mean, it was like obedience, then what do you do with your dog except play ball? He can give what they call an indication. Yes. <laughs> That's a strong okay, well, indication. When you knock it over. Right. <laughs> That's a strong indication. Find it. So he's got to shake it off. <laughs> I call him, always call him my little undog because he doesn't fetch, he doesn't really play. He kind of will come up to you when he wants to be petted. So, you know, this is something to give him a little bit of a life. 
Do you see this changing him in any way as far as confidence? Oh my gosh, huge, huge. He plays fetch now, like he comes up, I can pet him, other people. He'll go up to other people now, whereas before he wouldn't approach them. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, even yeah. a tail yeah. wag. Feed him a couple pieces because that was very nice. Very good. Now Cody has to find another one, and he has a hard time leaving the one that he's been. They've been told to hang out, so she'll yeah, so she'll put him on leash to get him to move more. So you see how he keeps going to the coffee he wants table. He to go back because he get more treats. Right. So this is kind of advanced level work to get him to move off of one and go to another. Mm -hmm. So she's kind of training him to go find another hide, as opposed to just finding one in the room. He's very low key. <laughs> he's very subtle with his indications, but he's started to now. He's starting to wag his tail and and look at me. Like before, it was literally like an eyeball roll. He'd be like and just like look up, <laughs> and now he started to like he turns his head and his tail starts to wag, which is huge for him. Alert! Yes, <laughs> beautiful. So you're pretty confident that your dog's going to do well today. I hope so. <laughs> Do you know what exactly you're doing today? Uh, yeah, I know. She showed us the different stuff yet, but we don't know like the hides and stuff. Well, you could you might tell your dog. <laughs> oh yeah, can't, can't tell her. Can't tell her. Yeah, she'll find it. Alert. Yes. <laughs> It's team bonding between you and your dog, and the dog will look for you for support if they're having difficulty. And sometimes in interior spaces, if they find the one and hide, if there's more than one hide, they will get hung up on that, and then you have to put them back on leash to get them back and focused. There. Yeah, <laughs> very good. Can you see when she's proud of herself? Oh yeah, especially in the interior. She does like a little dance. Yes! Ooh. Alert, alert. Oh well, you didn't wait. Because <laughs> he found the other one. <laughs> Go over there and feed him. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I knew. Uh, he just took to it, just, I mean, it was like, he loves food, so this is like a real drive. And he's a, he's a German Shepherd, he's, he's a working breed, so he needs a job. This is his job. You know, so many dogs get in trouble because they just, you know, here they are, bored. a cute puppy, and then they're bored. Yeah. And so he, oh, and he's bonded to me like no other dog. Do you have to be a dog that is well behaved and, you know, a good listener to do this kind of a thing? That's why dogs love this sport too. There is no obedience, no skills are required in order to do this. So um, a dog, a well-mannered dog can certainly do this sport, but um, a dog that maybe didn't do so well in obedience class <laughs> can absolutely do this sport. No obedience skills are required. Required. Oh my gosh, please do it, try it. I mean, you don't have to be anything but have a pair of shoes and a desire to be with your dog and have fun. Oh, it's the best. You can get involved with Canine Nose Work. Just hit their website to find a class near you. Carol is giving one lucky viewer and their dog a free private Pocono Nose Work session. Just like the proper photo in our September album on Facebook and tell us what you learned about nose work for a chance to win. Stick around, next we'll show you how taking a motorcycle ride can make dreams come true. It's the perfect time of the year for a motorcycle ride. 